Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fourth graders. Our concept is one and two step word problems. This is part one. Remember fourth graders, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. We have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and smash that like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's dive into our word problems. Number 31 says, the table shows the number of cartons of milk the school cafeteria sold each day last week. Which of these is the best estimate of the number of cartons of milk the cafeteria sold last week? And we have a table labeled milk. Our left-hand column are the days of the week. And on the right-hand column, the numbers of cartons of milk sold. So for Monday, it's 352. Tuesday, 426. Wednesday, 449. Thursday, 373, and Friday, 402. Our answer choices are F, 400, G, 1,800, H, 2,000, and J, 2,500. The first question we need to ask ourselves in order to solve this problem is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the best estimate of the number of cartons of milk the cafeteria sold last week. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is the data in the table. Again, Monday, there were 352 cartons of milk sold. Tuesday, 426. Wednesday, 449, Thursday, 373, and Friday, 402. Now that we have that information, well, how are we going to solve the problem? What we need to do is in two steps. The first step will be finding the estimates for each day, and step two, adding them all together. So let's dive into step one. We are going to look at our table and we are going to round to the hundreds place to find our estimates. So let's look at Monday. In order to round the hundreds place, we are going to look immediately to the right at our tens place. Because our number is five or more, our hundreds place will round up. So the three will become four and everything after that will become zeros. So Monday, Monday's estimate is 400. For, for Tuesday, we are going to again look at the tens place. Because two is less than five, our hundreds place will remain the same and our other places will become zeros. So 426 estimate will be 400. For Wednesday, we're going to do the exact same thing. We are going to look at our tens place. There is a four. Since four is less than five, our hundreds place will remain the same and our other place values will become zeros. So 449 is rounded to 400. Next, we have Thursday. 373, again, we're going to look at that tens place. There's a seven there. Since seven is greater than five, then our one hundredths place will round up. The three will round up to four. My other place values will become zeros. So 373's estimate is 400. And lastly, for Friday, 402. We're again looking at that tens place. It is a zero because the zero is less than five. 
our hundreds place will remain the same and our estimate for 402 will be 400. That is step one. Now for step two, all we need to do is add our totals together. 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400 is equal to 2,000. So let's add it. 4, 000, I mean 400 plus 400 is equal to 800. 800 plus 400 is equal to 1,200. 1,200 plus 400 is equal to 1,600. And 1,600 plus 400 is equal to 2,000. And an easier way of saying it is 400 times five is equal to 2,000. So now that we know our answer, what is the correct answer? Well, all we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has a value of 2,000. And yes, the answer is H. That is our correct answer. Great job, fourth graders. Now let's move to question number 32. And remember, you can order your fourth grade math book to follow along as we do our problems. Hannah drew straight lines on her driveway with chalk. The table shows the lengths of the lines. What is the difference in meters between the length of line S and the length of line P? Is it A, 7.57 meters, B, 5.95 meters, C, 3.70 meters, or D, 6.15 meters? And let's look at our table. It is labeled Hannah's chalk lines. For our left-hand column, it is the lines. And then on our right-hand column, it's length in meters. So for P, it's 1.8 meters. Q, 4.05 meters, R, 7 meters, and S, 7.75 meters. In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the difference in meters between the length of line S and the length of line P. Now that I know what we're looking for, the next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is targeting in on the meters we're focusing on, and that is line S, which is equal to 7.75 meters, and line P, which is equal to 1.8 meters. Now that we have the information that can help us find the answer, how are we going to solve the problem? Well, in order for us to solve the problem, we need to subtract line S, which is 7.75 meters, and line P, which is 1.8 meters or 1.80 meters. So let's go ahead and subtract. We have 7.75 minus 1.80 meters, and that is equal to 5.95 meters, okay? One point, I'm sorry, 7.75 meters minus 1.80 meters is equal to 5.95 meters. So now that we have our answer, what is the correct answer? Well, all we have to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has 4.95 meters as their value. And yes, it is B. B is our correct answer. Well, that is it, fourth graders, for our review of one and two step word problems. Remember, we have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.